Um, when it comes to Brazil, Peru, and Germany, and the clan attack that happened on January 6th, two years ago, not all attempted coups are the same. Now, in Brazil, over a thousand rioters were immediately arrested, and in Germany, the plot was stopped early, but in America, not so much. Not all attempted um, democratic nation-state coups and their governmental responses, whether preemptive or post um um, ger um juridical, whatever you want to call it, are the same. A comparison of four recent um, four recent coup attempts in four constitutional republics, the United States, Peru, Germany, and Brazil, reveal, if nothing else, legal evidence of the 21st century American exception exceptionalism. Now, some two years after Donald Trump's failed Klan insurrection, and three other failed coups were prevented or defeated in South America and Europe. Only one of these attempts was not brought out by a by a pre, by um, <coughs> um by either a president or a former squatter. Now, two of these um nations had nothing in common with the post um juridical responses of the U.S. and some some and some similarity in common with the U.S. coup. While the third nation had much more in common with the U.S. coup than the other nations did, it too shared co a, a commonality in, um, in its post-juridical um, responses with the other nations. Now, in Peru and Germany, plans to execute um, coups d'etat were preempted in, in December of 2022. Now, early in the morning of December 7th of 2022, um, Peru, um, um, Peru's president, um, Pedro Castillo, attempted to dissolve the Peruvian Congress in the face of impending impeachment proceedings by its legislative body similar in nature to Trump's second impeachment back in February of 2021. Now, Castillo enacted a curfew established in an emergency government and called for a constituent, um, a constituent assembly. And by the end of the day, Castillo had been arrested for the alleged crime of rebellion and impeached by 101 members in the 130-person legislative body. The vice president of Peru had then been sworn in as, as Peru's next president. Um, on the same date, 25 people were arrested in raids across Germany in suspicion of plotting to overthrow the government. <coughs> um, <coughs> um, now, the group consisted of far-right and ex-military figures that were evidently influenced by the, Q by the QAnon conspiracy theories and at least um, thematically aligned with the Trump world. Their, um, their plans to storm government buildings and seize power did not come close to any execution. But what distinguishes Peru and Germany from the U.S. is that these nations are better. Um, these nations were better, to, um, were better able to intervene because their legal systems had the necessary tools in place, including laws against dom domestic terrorism and acts against rebellion, and they were willing to use that. Now, Peru was able to shut down Castile's insurrectionary activities as they were being initiated, and Germany moved in to prevent an attempted coup before it can even begin. Now, even with the law, even with the laws that U.S. authorities have in place, they could have prevented the January 6th Klan attack from occurring in the first place, um, if those in charge had been able to, had a mind to fucking do so. Now, consider it. Now, consider an earlier historical example, when some thirty when some thirty five thousand opponents of the Vietnam War began to assemble on May first, nineteen seventy one, in West Potomac, Rip, um, in the West Potomac Park, near the Lincoln near the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument. And they were preparing for a major protest on May 3rd, chanting, If the government um, won't stop the war, we'll stop the government. Their stated goal was to fan out across the capital at strategic interactions and bridges to create gridlock in the city and stop federal employees from getting to and from work. Now, the anticipated um, protests were a bust. However, mostly because they were disrupted by a massive policy, um, I'm sorry, a massive police military buildup ordered by the Attorney General John Mitchell, later to become famous for his role in the Watergate scandal. Now, by the evening of May 1st, the Defense Department had staged thousands of armed federal troops around the capital suburbs and ordered in a military police battalion, um, battalion as well as a helicopter battalion. In the city, over 5,000 um, police officers were on duty, and they were backed, by, they were backed up by 1,400 National Guardsmen. Now, turning to the case of Brazil's attempted insurrection earlier this month, Authorities, um, also, authorities there also have appropriate laws in place and were prepared to use it, at least after the attacks began. By the end of the day of, the fa of, of that failed coup attempt, authorities had arrested close to 1,000 rioters compared to the zero arrests that were made in Washington, D.C. Um, the for the January 6th Klan attack of 2021. <coughs> um. <coughs> 
Now, former, um, now, former, um, now, former, um, Brazil, um, Brazil, um, former Brazilian president, um, Bolsonaro had styled his coup after Trump's spreading fake news about electoral fraud and refused to acknowledge his defeat at the polls. He had specifically used the example of the U.S. Capitol attack as a justification for dumping Brazil's electronic voting system. Now, on January 8th, when the, um, the rioters stormed Brazil's con um, Congress, um, the presidential palace and Supreme Court, Bolsonaro was already in Florida. In fact, his son, who was a Brazilian congressman, was rumored to be visiting Trump at Mar-a-Lago. Now, within 24 hours of the event, the Minister of Justice had publicly told reporters that Bolsonaro was, public was politically responsible for the events of January 8th that happened in Brazil, although his criminal liability would have to be, um, would have to be legally determined. Um... It was told by Marilla de, um, de Narden Mudo, who's a former um, journalist and criminology professor at the Federal University of Santo Catarina in Brazil, that during most of Bolsonaro's four years in office, the media had attempted to construct the idea that Bolsonaro and Lula, the current, who's, who's the current president now, are the same in the sense that they are opposites in, ide in ideology but equally radical. That only changed in the final months before the elections, and she continued when the press began to notice that Bolsonaro was against free speech and democracy and developed a more pro Lula perspective. Now in our email exchange last week in the email exchange last week, Budo continued the coup d'etat attempt the coup d'etat um, attempt gave Lu um, Lula power that we can never imagine that he would have. Even the army which was behind it is now being investigated. For Brazil this is something completely new and all the democratic forces, even the right wing, are calling for investigations and um and, and prosecution and Bolsonaro is now very weak, politically speaking. Um, now, Budo felt that she um, says she felt more optimistic now than in October when Lula won the election. Now, I think maybe maybe we're being too optimistic here, and that we are following a better pathway than the USA after Trump's crimes in the Capitol assault. But I think that if Lula and the Democratic forces really take advantage of the current political climate, Bolsonaro can be buried. She concluded. She concluded by observing that Brazil now faces a range of problems that's being imported by the USA that it never had before, and including widespread the, the widespread right-wing fake news and a huge group of delirious white people who have an idolized guns. Now, back on January 20th, Brazil's Supreme Court authorized an investigation into Bolsonaro over accusations that he incited last, week's, um, last weekend's riots by asserting that the election that removed him from office was rigged, which it wasn't. Now, under growing pressure from the, from the Democrats in Latin America and the U.S. lawmakers to expel Bolsonaro, from his Orlando retweet, the former the former president of Brazil has recently said he intends to run to Brazil. They intend to re return to Brazil by the end of January. Now, if Bolsonaro does not leave voluntarily, however, it may take years to compel his departure, as the history of the high-profile extradition requests to the U.S. government shows. Now, meanwhile, back in the U.S., considering our political polarization dueling um, presidential investigations and Trump's co-conspirators in the House of Representatives, it it. Basically, we're be it's beginning their investigation of the investigators, and our democratic future does not look quite as bright as we uh, would hope. Now, um, so if you like the video, you can get the video, like, and subscribe to my channel, RBW King. You can also hit the notification bell, so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out. If you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the belt section of YouTube, or just on the link below the video. Um, and just for a little as a few bucks a month, your donation can help go a long way, and thanks for listening.